What's up guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate images on Sora AI. So all you have to do is really go to your sora.chatgpt.com and sign in. All you need is a ChatGPT account and you can easily sign in. Right now, once you're inside Sora AI, guys, all you have to do is either find something that you want to remix on the Explore page. You can find a ton of different images that you can, let's say, try to remix. And you can go ahead and click on the image as an example, and you can click and remix and you can write whatever you want, bring this to life or whatever. So that's the first way I want to show you. If not, you can just simply start something brand new from either the explore page, as you can see, you have the text box here, or you can go to whichever image section you have it. So everywhere you are on every page, you will have this box here where you can enter your prompt and start creating. You can also create a folder on the lower left hand side. You have folders here. If you click new folder, you can give this folder a name. And once you create the folder, you can start by clicking on the folder and start generating images underneath. Right. So once you do that, you can just start creating whatever. I have other folders here, so I can always click on these folders and try to start creating under. So you can create images under your folders. You can create images from under my media. You can create images from under images, or you can create images under explore. Keep in mind that if you do not select a specific folder that you created, all your creation will be placed under my media, as you can see here. So just keep that in mind. And But afterwards, you can always move these media to wherever you want. So if you create something and it's under your media and you create later create a folder, you can click the three dots, go to add to folder and just add it to whatever folder you have created. Let's take the ABC one as an example. And then when I go to that folder now, you will see that it has moved there. But that's it, guys. Just before you start generating your image, you can change the aspect ratio if you want to change that as well by simple selecting an aspect ratio of your choice and then just start. Other things that are there is, is, is things such as presets and you also have the variations as well that you can switch between, right? So most like what it generally does is start on the one or two as variations, but of course for four, you most likely need to upgrade to have uh, one of those ChatGPT Plus or ChatGPT Pro a plan to be able to you get like four generation of images and so forth. And the reason why this is not available is because you can only do three generation per day. So most likely you will not be able to have that much right in one go as well. As you can see, if I go to settings and I go basically go to my plan, you can see max image per day is three. So you get a general idea as well. But that's how you go ahead and generate images guys on that. So if you want to know how to generate image, you just go ahead and write something. So I'm going to go ahead and select, for example, this test folder, and I'm going to just describe something. So I've just simply asked it a super luxury car driving in winter in heavy rain. Just make up something. And all I have to do is just click this button here in the lower right hand side and have it. It's going to add to my queue and it's going to quickly generate this for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and shut the activity by waiting for it to create the image. And once this is done, you will see what it has created or what it is generated for me. So let's sit back and wait and wait for my image to generate. All right, there you have it, guys. The image is done generating and you can easily find it by clicking on your media, your activity on the upper right hand side. Now, here you will also be able to find other generations that you have. Let's go ahead and look at this luxury car and have a look at that. How amazing. It is just super. I mean, it, it did what I ask and I can't complain. It is winter. It's a luxury car and it, the rain is falling. Oh, amazing. And you can click on it and you can basically put it into your favorites if you want to. You can like it, you can share it, you can download it, whatever it is that you want to do, right? Or, you know, one thing that you can also do once you have it, also, if you don't like it, you can always go ahead and remix it as well. Now, let me go back home. As I mentioned, those images are stored under your media. And if you later want to move them to your folder, just simple click three dots on the upper right hand side, move to a specific folder. I'm going to move it to test and I'm going to move this specific one here to the ABC folder. And as you can see, I move those images and if I click the folder, you can see that they're there. 
And that's it, guys. That's how you generate images on Sora AI. Very easy and very simple, and I would say very accurate.